So probably one of the most common errors that people make is that they assume all pet foods are provide their pet with the same quality of nutrition. You can just feed your dog anything, table scraps, um, any bag of dog food, color. If the kibble is red, it means it's beef. If it's the green kibble, it means it's peas. Um, a lot of times the consumer doesn't understand that those bags are put together for you as a consumer, not for your pet. My name is Sue Tassa, and for the last 25 years, I've worked in the field of pet nutrition. Well, my name is William Robinson, and I am a store manager of Pet Food Express. One of the things that this industry has been hit with fairly consistently since 2007 has been pet food recalls. If you remember back in 2007, we had a really very widespread recall. A couple companies out of Texas actually was feeding roadkill. They had a contract with some of the state, the sheriffs, that until they found the roadkill, animal, they would come pick it out and they actually had a dog food processing plant. And it ended up, you know, dogs were hurt, dogs were killed, and it sort of changed the way people approach the industry. Consumers, pet owners, are much more aware now and concerned about what they're feeding their pets. Um, there are several uh, organizations that regulate the pet food industry. Uh, one of them, which is an organization called AFCO, the American Association of Feed Control Officials, it's also regulated by the FDA and also regulated by each state's feed control officials. So typically, but not all, but typically a state will adopt rules and regulations that AFCO suggests that they basically play by. They're designed to protect consumers and of course pets. Um, the challenge becomes that the pet food manufacturers are very adept at manipulating the rules to their advantage. So you can't just rely on um, what you see on a bag. You need to educate yourself as to what that information on the bag means. For example, um, you might see a bag and it says real meat. Meat is so general, it could be any meat. So that can, they can say meat, but what kind of meat? Um, that's why you have to make sure you're careful about buying products like that that just have meat or, or a meat byproduct or meat byproduct meal because you, don't, you want to know what kind of meat it is. Is it the same meat in this bag as it is in the next bag? If you want to ensure that you have a complete and balanced diet for your pet and that they'll get all the nutrition that they need, look for something called an AFCO seal on it. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to look at is the ingredient panel. And the ingredient panel is a list of ingredients that are found in the pet food. Uh, first of all, one of the things I like to look for is I like to look for meat at the top of that list of the ingredient panel. They're listed by weight. So if meat's the first thing in that ingredient panel, I know that the number one ingredient in that food's gonna be meat. If you wanna look the opposite direction, I like to look for grains or other fruits and vegetables further down the list. I don't mind having some in the pet's food, but if you look at a pet's teeth, be it dog or cat, you can see those teeth are designed to not chew up on grains and fruits and vegetables, but to chew meat. Some of the things that I would avoid in pet food would be dyes. I don't think my pet needs to have a yellow kibble or a red kibble or a green kibble. Some red flags might be a lot of fillers, corn-based, corn, everything, corn starch, corn, wheat. But before we go, I would like to say uh, for all pet owners, dogs, cats, rats, rabbits, fish, birds, whatever kind of pet you got, just remember that they are pets and they don't speak to us. So it's up to us to govern their intake of food, nutrition. It's up to us to make sure they're safe, they have a caring home, they're warm. All these things that go with taking care of your kids, you take care of your pet the same way. So you just up to you to take care of them and give them all of the nutritional values that they need in life to live and have a great life. I love my cats. And <laughs> <laughs>